Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Outer Worlds, and without further ado, let's get straight into it. Uh, we'll be playing the game on normal mode, which is just the standard for the first play session. Um, I played this game a little bit before. Um, make the text a little bit bigger, because bigger, that'll show up a little bit better on YouTube. And of course, these very small texts are not going to translate well. But hopefully in-game it'll look a little bit better. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel that like mere seems... minutes, okay. thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Okay. So this is a, a wanted criminal. Bit. Is this is this our character or hundreds of thousands of colonists? Left to drift out here forever. Probably not. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, so we. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're customizing our character for the actual playthrough, as well as we're like picking through all of the. He's picking through all of the colonists to find us, essentially. So that that is a, a good in universe explanation for why. Uh, he's picking us. Um, I am going to build my character, and then I'm going to cut back where the character's done, and I will explain uh, why I chose what I chose, because there's a lot of information to go through here, and I don't really want to subject you all to 50 minutes of me customizing a character, so I will be right back. Okay, to explain a little bit of what I chose is I chose a high dexterity, intelligence, perception. Um, I chose no determinal aptitude because I didn't feel like any of the bonuses there that really mattered. Um, determination is a stat that affects your allies, so I figured, you know, plus one there can't be too terrible. Um, I specialized in uh, medical science engineering as well as um, guns. So those are kind of what I chose as well as I will be playing a female character. This is Claire. You can see her on the side of the screen there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely bootlickers. I know this guy's a crew, but I kind of like it. Initiate skip jump. Okay, so the skip jump is kind of a, like, warp technology that, okay. You gotta, like, learn all the lingo and the terminology as we go. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Our levels down <sighs> Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving 
stabbing someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? Okay. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is he's a, like up with us. but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, okay, so it'll be I our like, NPC in contact. Great. Good luck! <laughs> I can't turn the camera at all here. So the colonies have been here for over at, at least sixty years because it's the the anniversary of the hopes of Can you hear me? History. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name there. is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's oh, I'm falling through space. Chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Okay. That's kind of like heavy, man. Like, I... I probably came here, like, looking for work. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in the Oh, no. Is that him? Idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not yep. stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oof. All right, give me, give me one second, guys. Taking his ship. All right. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. This game looks beautiful. I mean, look at just look at these like flower things. It's crazy. All right, so we uh, I think we have basic movement controls for first person shooter. At least on uh, controller. Looks like I've got some health kits up there. I don't know what. Okay, so I have like a a a, a backwards dash. It might be like a dodge. Like I can, I can do it in the air. Oh wait. Where are you, little buddy? I don't know where we ran off to. I can hear, like, animals and stuff. And there's these cool basalt pillars that are coming out of everywhere. Coming into these cool shapes. Why would I need to sneak out? Oh, I see some things on the mini-map. Okay, so... I don't know what adrenos do yet. Do we want to sneak, I suppose? Okay, so we got some little sneaking tutorial here. I feel like sneaking is going to be very important for us. Or we'll just go in guns blazing, I don't know. Um, I tend to start off games like this kind of stealthy, and then I just give that up about halfway through the playthrough. So that'll, that'll be a fun experience. Okay, stand up. Looks like we're far enough away from those guys. Hey, little. What the hell? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Look at this little guy. Hey, you're looking kind of cute. In a gross lizard rat sort of way. Ow. Well, that was mean game. Hey, you, come here. 
You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. What? Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Uh, yeah, sit, just, just hang out, man. I, I got some, I got some medical training. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. I am assuming Spacer's Choice is a corporation? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. It's a shitty slogan. I saw a marauder slogan. camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh. What it, well, yeah, what's this about these marauders that you, you mentioned? Gibbering, flesh eating, law breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? The only difference between me and in real life and those marauders is that I don't have a gun. Just saying. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, uh, give me your gun, and I'll, I'll get help. Yeah. Okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. <laughs> All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Uh... Can you tell me, like, where I am? Like, I, I literally just woke up on a spaceship, like... Never mind, not important. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Okay, is that like the Edgewater's name of the planet? Edgewater's a little or? ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Okay, uh, do you know anything about the Hope? It's the ship the we Hope? came in Is on. Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Okay, uh, well, I'll, I'll just, uh, oh, okay, I got a gun, okay. Um, I'm gonna look around first before we, uh start shooting things hey, there's some stuff like here uh, mag pick some items here uh, I don't I guess I guess they're important uh, oh. my ears. sorry oh. sorry Wells oh, what just happened can you hear me what in the this oh no they're worth XP, so you guys know how it goes. We're officially a monster now. Oh, guys, we have a slowdown mode. Okay. Cool. Yes. Okay, so if we... It looks like if we do attacks in the di time dilated mode, we can do status effects. Interesting. That's a, that's kind of a cool system. Uh, and that's the tutorial on how to open things. Some. I keep hearing weird noises, and it's kind of freaking me out. Okay, so I guess these mag picks are. Okay, so it shows like our skill level at the top, which is twenty, and I guess this requires five. So and it takes two lock picks to open. I just picked up three of them. Okay, so we got a, a melee weapon. Um, not really gonna do much melee, I don't think. I mean, we might, but I don't think so. Oh, there's a lot of items in this game. Give me one second to look at the menus and see if I can't figure out uh, what's going on.
Uh, Alright, looking at the way this works, uh, the best way I can kind of explain it is that... I, I changed our armor, by the way. Um, this armor gives plus stealth. Um, so, Adrenos are the healing item that we use with the inhaler, the, our healing item. And they, these consumable slots up here, um, when you use the inhaler to heal, it automatically uses all of the items in the consumable slots. Like, it uses one of them to give you, like, a buff with your heal. It's a really good way to do uh, temporary buffs. I really like that. Uh, but we're just going to keep keep moving on. I imagine there's probably some more guys, yeah. So I activate time mode here. So if I shoot him there, he bleeds. Okay, blind, so that's obviously like a headshot. Uh, maim. Okay, so yeah, it looks like... Yeah, so that, that would have been a bleed. So it looks like if we're in uh, tactical, tactical mode... Um, I'm sure little meter's up there in the top left, which shows how much... Oh well, I am I'm not very not very good at the gunplay here. So uh that should have consumed one of these items here. So we should have double health regeneration for a little while. Yeah, it's up there at the top. Okay, cool. Where'd these horses go? They had to have loot on them, right? Uh, okay, so bits are money. And then we have uh, light ammo for our pistol. Interesting. There's, uh, a lot, there's a lot to this already. Like, we're pretty early on in. Okay. here before you get yourself killed hey uh lieutenant mercer don't know where you came from stranger but you best keep your head down there's marauders hereabouts and worse landing violators call on that rung leech landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad i'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about uh you already dealt with a few of them i'm not they weren't they were really dangerous you pulling my limb I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my uh, breath. I don't know about that. Stretch my legs some. Uh. Okay, so I guess we can get these guys to, like, run out there and fight them. Yeah, why don't we, why don't we, do you do spacer choice guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. I don't think you're supposed to laminate Here stuff like that. Oh, okay. Open fire! You gotta... Well, there, you are, there are a lot of guys here. Uh, well, I I need to get kills here too because I need XP. I just a fine bonus. Okay, got a little bit of experience. Got a weapon mod. Check that out here in a second. Looks like these marauders also have uh, some animals with them. Oh, I think this is Hawthorne's ship, right? Because he was supposed to, they were supposed to pick me up. Okay. Uh, well, the quest marker's telling us to go inside. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. The unreliable. Oh, what a great name for a ship. surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Uh. No, no. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh. uh yeah, I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. 
Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three. We're not. Two. We're not in. One. Ada, we're not in space. Yeah, you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> Me too. Me too, Ada. <laughs> is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Ooh. Um. Uh. Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne's dead. I'm. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. She seems generally Thank satisfied. Thank you for your patience and for She's your She's an honesty. AI, right? I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I, I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers Got of it. deductive Got reasoning it. remain intact. Okay. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged okay. and must be replaced. Uh, I and mean, we have our engineering. We might as well use it. I don't know if partly that. So we know enough about engineering to know that we're not just going to find a power regulator. Like, it's, it's an important piece of machinery. Astutely observed. However... The probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I got it. I got it. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. She's got jokes. Oh, you love uh, yeah, I know how level up works, so thank you. Um, th thank you. Um, so we get to spend some points here. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get our lock picking up a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's just put all of our points in there, because that'll improve our sneak. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to get the thing where I can see what's inside locked containers, because that'll be really good, and it'll save us a lot of, uh, points. So, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Uh, we'll get a free perk. Okay. Um, get more health. Okay, that seems really good, because tactical time dilation is really strong. Okay, Lone Wolf. I think I'm gonna have companions. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be wandering about myself. Okay, increase walk speed. These don't seem very good. Although, carrying capacity, I don't know how important it is to have a high carrying capacity. I think I'll get the carrying capacity, because that seems like a, a good upgrade that, I mean, I'm a pack rat in these games, so we should be, we should be okay. And then I notice on the way in, um, so this is going to cost us no picks. To open. Okay. Is that ooh, light assault rifle. Okay. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. I I will, Ada. Here's some weapon parts and a sawed-off shotgun. Ooh, we're good. Okay, so looks like we can install mods and guns. Well, there's a lot of information there. Like, a lot of information there. Okay. Um, well, then. Uh, give me one second, guys. Okay. Uh, I just went ahead and repaired my pistol, as well as scrapped a few weapons to get some extra weapon parts, uh, which are used to repair weapons. You use weapons to repair other weapons. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Okay. Need a power regulator for that. Can I get... Oh, I was on the wrong side of the ladder. Kind of looking over the ship. I think this is probably going to be, like, the hub, maybe? Because, like, I... My understanding is we're going to be flying, like, planet to planet. Ooh, okay. Um, 
So there should be a lot of us being here in the ship. Looks like that's... These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Uh, that's okay about it for the ship. Uh, I guess we just go back outside. Hmm. Um. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's choice. I kept uh, you fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Uh. Uh, you got it all wrong. I'm a I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, this ship's real unsafe. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Uh, okay. Yeah, you have a good, good day. Um, bye. Bye. Okay, um, so Edgewater, I guess, is the town that's nearby, so we can head over that way. There's, like, interesting stuff everywhere, though. I kind of want to go over here. So there's all attacks against what? I don't see any enemies. Should I be seeing enemies? Oh, hello. Primal Hunter. Oh, I didn't mean... I hit the wrong button. Level three. Oh, there's there's a lot of them. I'm gonna. Oh, I wanted to slow him down. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, that's worth a decent amount of money. Like, that's worth significantly more than, like, guns were worth, so. Okay. We get plenty of ammo for our gun, so we should be fine for the most part. It's a trip blade. Old McDonald had a trip blade. E-I-E-I-O. And with this gate blade, he killed this brat. E-I-E-I-O. That's pretty good. This rats are the little, like, green rat lizards. What is this? Is this just, like, some wreckage? Is there nothing here? Whoa. I just had a bunch of stuff come up on my marker. Is that, like... Oh, my god, I did not see him. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little way, I'm gonna get on top of this thing, and then I'm gonna start then I'm gonna start shooting them. There's one there. There's one like there, but I can't I can't quite see him. Uh. Oh, they throw rocks. Is there, like, AI trying to figure out how to get to me? I'm trying to get his leg. No, thank you. We're not friends, you and I. Gosh, my aim is terrible. It's alright, our, our, we'll get more and more used to playing the shooter as time goes on. Uh, the gunplay feels a little weird right now to me, so. It's not like cool uh, flora, but nothing to really uh, interact with. Is there really like nothing here? Why did I come up here? There's some money and a tech kit, whatever that is. As well as a, a helmet. Okay. 
Oh, no, no, no. I wanted the... Yeah. You're missing a head, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know. I don't judge. We got some more ammo. Uh, I don't know that we got bagged more than we used, so... Maybe the perk for buying ammo is really important. Like, maybe you are going to need to buy a lot of it. I don't think I can park where the basalt columns. Hmm. Just double checking to make sure we didn't miss anything. We probably did. We get some people in the comments being like, You missed that box. It's important. Sorry, I didn't see it. See, this looks like something here, too, because there's, like, a fence. Yeah, there's definitely some pads. Hmm. Ah! Okay. Mistakes were made. Oh, yeah, wow. Guns hurt a lot. I'm not quite used to, like, the refresh rate of the uh, time dilation stuff. I was gonna say, I don't see anywhere on my HUD where it shows me where the condition of my gun is, but I feel like that is important information to know. Um, can I see it here somewhere? Okay, so it's like 70%. That's still okay. I mean, obviously I'd like to have it in good condition, but I'm not near a workbench right now. I mean, I kind of am, but I just don't want to run all the way back. Yeah, it's really easy to lose, like, where the corpses are. Okay. A hunting rifle. I like, I like, uh, guns like that. It's in really good condition. It's got a, an extra sight on it, I think. How do I... Oh. That is not how I, how I switch weapons. How do I... Ha! There we go. It kind of looks like furtive fields, right? But it's just moss growing on stones from far away. That's kind of a cool effect. It's kind of this these this basalt and just rock formations that are with moss growing on them that make them look like they're fertile and green and there's bad guys down here. Which one is more dangerous? Oh wait, I can look at their HP, right? So this one's more dangerous. Oh, that one, that one there is probably the most dangerous. Yeah, see, we're getting, we're getting better as uh, we get more and more used to the game, which is great. Like the feeling of improvement. Um, well, that sucks, man. You died digging your friend's grave. Or grave robbing. I guess he could have also been grave robbing. I know we're supposed to go over that to the quest marker, okay? I, I, I get it. There's a quest marker over there. But there's like so much interesting stuff to explore. Like, enemies to kill and XP to get. There's gotta be something here, right? Oh, there's a chest. Okay. Can I go out into the water? No, this is as far as I can go out. Can I, like, get in that? Somehow? Mm, no, it looks like invisible walls are stopping me from... Exploring that way anymore. 
get something to pop up there for a second. That's weird. I'm not going anywhere or looking for anything in particular. I'm just kind of looking around the environment, seeing if there's like maybe some secrets or some like ammo crates or. Manage us if that's progress with the main quest. Oh. Landing pad. Oh, it must be above us. We'll check that out here in a little bit. I always feel like I when I play these games, like I am wandering and exploring in places that don't matter. And I, I kinda hate it because like I, I'm trying to put on like a good terror ray. It looks like there was a body up there. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, I was about to say. Oh, oh. Mega Sprat. Oh, God. What the, what the hell is this? Yeah, I'm waiting. Blind it. Oh, my God, that's so much HP. I had like a, a back pedal thing. Oh, I'm, I'm against the wall. Oh god, I'm against several walls. Maybe I shouldn't be like exploring. Maybe I should be like doing quests. A cigarette? What? Where was it? Where was it keeping these things? It had a grenade launcher. You you had a grenade launcher. Okay. Uh, should. Where was it carrying that? Oh, is I can lock this for free? Plasma rifle? That sounds awesome. <laughs> Corporation service award. And the, and the shovel. I'm gonna check out this uh, plasma rifle. Uh, okay, we'll equip the grenade launcher as well. Is this the, the plasma rifle? Charge it for a bigger attack. Hold the attack button and develop energy and then release. Okay, so it's like a... One of those. Got it. And we also saw a body up here on this ledge, so I'm interested to see if that's anything. Oh, right, we, we leveled up. Uh, again, I'm just going to put more points into our kind of stealth stuff. I think it was 40 we were looking for here. Yes, yeah, so it'd be 40. Uh, I guess we could also... We have five points left. Let's put some more points in guns. I think, because we're going to be using a lot of guns for most of the playthrough, so. Yeah, I already, I already yep, I learned that. Uh, and we get, I guess we get a perk every other level, because we did not get a perk. Okay, alright, I'm, I'm down. Like, this is, uh, hello friend. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, I saw this, this guy up here when I killed this thing. He's got a light pistol. Can I, like, automatically equip something? No. Okay. I, I have to go in the inventory. It's a landing pad cutter, so it displays a, a melee weapon that does plasma damage. Okay. Interesting. I've received reports of terror ray nests behind the landing pad. This isn't the first time these reports have appeared on my desk. Once again, I re reiterate my contempt for the terror ray population and the problems uh, engendered by their presence. Terror rays get caught in the engines of ships. Terror rays deface space or choice properties with their droppings. Terror rays are useless. Deal with them, please. 
They dealt with deal with one of them. Uh, so I guess these things are terror rays nests. We should keep an eye out for those, and it might let us know in the future that hey, there are these like scary bird manta rays everywhere. Also, just look at this view. Like that's crazy good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we're gonna stop digging around. We're gonna go up to our quest and not break our legs. You want to check out the landing pad? Just a few over there. If you're wondering why I'm not just attacking them, it's because there's no red pip on my compass, so they're probably friendly. But I'll uh, we'll check that out later. Let's let's go ahead and uh, get into to Edgewater. But I think that we'll do that in the uh, the next episode. I'll see you guys later. Bye.